Hello. Today we're going to talk about QImage Ultimate and its powerful thumbnails part 2. If you recall, at the end of part 1, Tom Thumb and his wife Shirley were trapped in a burning building. Well, we'll just continue on from the right-click menu. We'll select an image, right-click, and s let's see where we left off. I think we need to do a predefined filter. This is a very interesting part of QImage. It, it contains pre-made filters for you. Auto exposure, lighter, darker, contrast, and so on and so forth. If you just want a quickie. Okay, well, here's something that's more than a quickie. I'm going to change this image to black and white. I click on black and white. I click on open. Are you sure? Yes. And watch what happens. Okay, our image right here, this thumbnail, is now in black and white. I'll hover, hit the space bar, and there we go. We've got a beautiful black and white rendition of that color image. Okay, escape puts me back to this screen. And we'll hit the right click menu, and we'll say remove the filter. Very simple. Well, we have a couple of different ones here, but this allows us to put a check mark in the one that says select color and say remove selected are you sure yes and we go right back to our original color image I'll hit the space bar and you can have a good look at it there's our image back in its normal color shot okay let's continue on okay we're going to select this red flower over here I'm going to right click and let's look at some more options we have here how about custom filter? Custom filter is a quickie box that lets you tweak filters that you've already put on there like more saturation, a dab more contrast or a touch more sharpening or less sharpening, whatever you want to do. In this case for the sake of demonstration I'm going to add a cutout. So I click on this little cutout line I drag down to the bottom here because I have an idea what I want and I'm going to click on this cutout and say done. And quick as can be, there's our roses looking from inside your window to the outside of the window. Okay, once again I can right click and say remove the filter. And there we are. There's our cutout. Give it a click. Say remove. Yes. And everything is back to normal again. Okay, let's see what we go to now. We are going to have a look at this menu and I'm going to go to rename image. Okay. Now I have to select one that I'm going to rename obviously. So we'll just pick any one. We'll click that, say rename image. And a box comes up and you can call it anything you want. We'll, we'll just uh, stick a an A or something in here so you can see that it gets renamed. And I'll say OK. And there is the image renamed with an A. We have another one. Let's take one. I'm holding the control key, normal Windows function for adding multiple items. And I've selected these five shots of this uh, bronze bull. Okay, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say auto rename. Now you can do the whole folder if you like, but we're just demonstrating here. And I can put the word bull in here, which I already did. And by doing that, it will name the first one Bull, and the second one Bull 001, 002, the, for the third, and so on and so forth down the line. Or, I can click on Presets. This is a set, and each one of these symbols is spelled out for you over here. You can see that we have a Y. If you look here, the Y indicates the year, the month, the day, and so on and your images can be renamed that way. Here's a sample of it right here, 2011, 01, 24, and so on. You have preset 2, and preset 3, and preset 4. So you've got a variety of ways of doing this. But just for the fun of it, let's do bull. Okay, we'll say B-U-L-L, -L, and I'm going to click OK and watch what happens. Are you sure? Yes. Whoa, where'd they go? My goodness. Well, bull must be either up on the top or down on the bottom. There they are. See them? Okay. And you can see that we've got bull 5, 6, 7, 8, 
and the regular bull. Why did they start with five? Okay, I'm going to show you. Auto rename images. Here's the number that you can tell it to start with. You can say with one or five or anything up to 5,000. Okay, that covers that item. Okay, let's move on now to the next item. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here so we get some special pictures. Here's some right here. And I'm going to right click on this picture and we're going to select Add to Album. Well, let me explain what an album is. I know everybody knows what a photo album is, but we'll show you how to make something really unique in QImage. Okay, I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select this one because they are water scenes, okay? And I'm going to right click and I'm going to say add to album. Okay, well I need to make an album first, so I'll click on new album and we'll give it a name and we'll call it water. And we can even add scene as long as I can spell it. And we'll say okay. And now it wants a descriptive name. We'll just say okay, water scene is good and add the image to the water scene now yes three images are added okay now I'll show you in a moment what we've done but you can see that we can go right down here to the bottom where I have more water scenes and I'll pick one here and one here for the sake of our demonstration right click add to album well there's the album right here all I have to do is say select and it says two more images were added to the album called Water Scene. Well, the beautiful part of this is that you don't have to take all your water scenes from one folder. I can go to a different folder over here and say, hmm, I'm going to add this water scene and this water scene also. So I right click and say Add to Album. Okay, there's my album right there. And I say Select. And it says two more images are added to the album water scene. Okay. Now I can go right up here to this thing here. It says open album. Okay. I select this. And I say open. And there's my album with just water scenes. And I can add to it, add to it, add to it. And that's how you can compile a nice slideshow or whatever you want to do with it. It's really a very, very powerful feature. Okay. Let's get into two more items which seem obvious but QImage Ultimate has more power in its thumbs to show you. I'm going to select this scene again, the one we used before for black and white and I'm going to right click and I'm going to show you move images. Well if I click on move image and I give it a destination any one of these it's going to move the image from this folder to a different folder. That's obvious. We don't have to demonstrate that. If I say copy images, it's going to do the same thing except leave a copy of it in here and make a copy and put it in another location that you choose. Okay, that's pretty obvious. Well, what's not obvious? I'll show you. If we right click on this guy and we do that thing with the black and white before with the predefined filter and I say black and white and I say open and I say OK, we're now going to have a black and white filter on top of this image. Hit the space bar just to show you what it looks like. OK. And I'll hit escape to get out of it. And now we're going to right click and do copy. OK. But what we're going to do here is we're going to just swipe it and type in black and white. B and W. OK. And we're going to say OK and we'll say OK and we have it in black and white. Well that's the original in black and white. The B and W should be wherever the B's and W's are filed. There it is right here. Okay. Now if I go back to the original which was that 8200 image thing here we just had and I go in and I remove this filter. Okay. Remember it was select color and remove selected. Yes. Okay, now what I've got now is I've got this fellow here, the original in color, 
Okay, I just put it in the queue so you can see it easier. And I've got this one here in black and white. And you can see I've, be, I've retained both versions just by using the copy command. So you can see that's, that's pretty powerful. That's unique. I don't think anybody has something like that. I'm going to clear the queue. I'm going to show you one item that we did not cover. And we will get to it when we do the overhead menus. Send to Photo Editor. We'll get to that at a later date. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you have a good time with QImage Ultimate and its powerful thumbs.